Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about pruning peppers. Um, pruning peppers is a pretty debated topic. Some people do it and some people don't. Um, so in today's video I will show you why I prune, how I prune, and just everything you need to know about pruning peppers. So this year I went all in on hot peppers. I think I'm growing seven or eight different varieties um, and I have some in the little hydroponic units behind me, um, some in my larger arrow garden systems, and I am thinking of still planting some more. So uh, I do have peppers in various stages of growth, so I thought it'd be a good time to show you kind of what they look like before and after a prune and to kind of show you the results um, that you can get from pruning. Basically, I prune because um, when I'm growing everything indoors, I'm really limited by the height capacity of my little hydroponic systems. Um, the largest one I have has a max height of three feet, so I really want to keep all my pepper plants at or below that three foot mark. And pepper plants, if you leave them alone, if you just keep feeding them nutrients and water and sunlight, um, they can easily grow to five feet, six feet tall um, if you have a long growing season. You'll still get fine results if you don't prune, but if you do prune, I think you get much healthier plants and much um, more pepper production, fruit production. Um, and I am really trying to squeeze the max production out of this tiny apartment. So um, I'm a big proponent of pruning. And with pepper plants, the thing to consider is that they really just want to grow straight up. Um, the growth hormone in the plant is concentrated at the top, and you'll kind of notice with pepper plants that there'll be a really, really strong cluster of leaves at the top of the plant and kind of sparse leaves throughout the rest of the stem. So by pruning, um, you essentially, you know, cut off the top of the plant, and that encourages the growth hormone to redistribute throughout the length of the stalk and to grow um, more offshoots along the entire length of the stem. There's a couple different methods of pruning. The most popular one is just um, called topping, where you literally cut off the top of the plant. And um, if you know anything about gardening, when you cut off the top of a plant, it generally will not grow from that cut off stem, and instead the two offshoots will grow. Um, so that's one method you can try. What I personally do is a second method called FIM. It stands for Fuck, I Missed, and basically it's a gentler method of topping. So once you cause damage to the top of the plant, um, which, you know, that kind of happens in the wild too, like if an animal's like munching on the leaves, then the growth hormone will redistribute throughout the full length of the base and more offshoots will happen. And if you continue to prune, then it will just continue to focus more and more effort on um, the full vertical height of the plant as it's growing. Um, and some pepper plants in general do want to fork off and form this little like Y shape. So the, the more you prune in the beginning of the plant's life, the um, better the kind of distribution of growth will happen. Um, and specifically with my plants, I try to encourage a little like Christmas tree shape where I'm letting the lower branches grow out longer and larger um, and the top prunes more heavily and then you get kind of like an inverted or a regular triangle shape and that way the light can reach the full um, vertical height of the plant. So I thought I'd show you some examples of um, my pepper plants before and after I've pruned them and kind of when to prune. Okay, so this harvest has a couple pepper plants going in various stages. Um, this is a shiseido, this is a cayenne, and this is a sugar rush peach and these are all very young plants. This one, though, is kind of the perfect stage at which to prune. Um, this is also a sugar rush peach. It's a hot pepper. And if I prune this one, that also gives these smaller pepper plants time to catch up and grow a little bit bigger um, before I have to raise the uh, hood of this air garden. I can't remember how old it is because I had such a hard time um, germinating pepper plants this year. So they're all at, they all started at different times. But a good way to gauge when to prune is to look at the height and the um, growth of the plant. Okay, I took it out just so you can see it a little better. This is the stage at which I would start to prune a pepper plant. It's around four inches tall and basically it has four fully developed leaf sets. Um, so a leaf set is a pair. The first one, these two little leaves are called the cotyledons and they're technically not true leaves. They are the first leaves that form from the seedling, like you can see here because I actually planted uh, two seeds in this pot. This, these are the first two little leaves and they grow to kind of look like that. So ignore these, they're not considered true leaves, and instead we're going to look at the real leaves. So this is the first pair right here on the bottom, right? We've got one pair. This is the second pair, two pairs, 
third pair, and then the fourth pair. And then the fifth pair is um, very small. It's basically the growing tip. So once it has one, two, three, four leaf sets, that's when I think it's strong enough to withstand um, a pretty heavy level of pruning. So there's two main methods with pruning. You can top, which is this little growth top right here. You can literally just cut it entirely and then that main stem will no longer grow and instead the outer leaves will grow. And where they'll grow is you see um, everywhere that the two leaves come out, there's little baby um, leaves, leaves that are forming. So if you don't prune, the plant will just continue to grow up and these little tiny baby leaf sets will never really develop um, strongly. But if you do prune, then the plant will focus its energy into all these other areas. This one is the Korean pepper. In the back we have the Chinese pepper. Basically, um, pruning is like a signal of damage to the plant and plants um, they, they want to survive, they want to produce fruit, and they want to, you know, pass on their plant genes. So if you cause damage to one section, it'll redistribute its energy and focus to the other sections. Two days later, I did a little bit more pruning. Um, as you can see, I kind of left the Chinese pepper in the back a little too long since I was away, I didn't prune and it grew a little bit taller than the others um, and I'm trying to keep the light as low as possible. So I just clipped off a couple more leaves. Here is the damage. It's been about nine days, so a little over a week and they've recovered quite nicely. I arranged them in the farm, uh, so just ignore the fact that they're in a different unit. This one on the left is the shortest and it's the Korean pepper. The middle is the albino bell pepper. And this is the Chinese ornamental pepper. As you can see, the plants have definitely recovered. Um, you are giving them everything they need in a hydroponic environment, so it's quite easy and quite quick for them to bounce back. Um, you can see here, like, the heat leaves that look like, like they've been eaten. Those are the ones that I snipped with the scissors, and they've grown back quite a bit. So the other thing that I've realized is you should definitely prune with these, anything you're growing hydroponically. Um, but there is also like, not a limit, but you kind of have to work with the plant. Um, all these plants are different. So the Korean pepper took really well to pruning. I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely got a kind of, you know, triangle shape with the bottom growing outwards. I can prune a little bit more at the top to encourage like more bushy growth down here, but generally it will, it takes pretty well to growing low and short, and then that way I can have more fruit. Um, the same with the bell pepper, it's doing pretty well. These leaves are like nice and huge, and it's definitely encouraged like a lot of low side shoots. The Chinese ornamental though is, is really not um, doing what I want, and I can tell it just wants to grow straight, straight up, nice and vertical. Um, so as you can see, there's all these little side shoots down here, these baby leaves but it's really focusing on the top and I guess I could have been a little bit more aggressive with the pruning. Okay, I decided to prune a little bit more. I'm going to, I still want like lower growth out here. I'm just gonna take off some leaves and I'm using clean sterilized scissors. Um, the leaves are so young at this point, you could also pinch it off with your fingers. It's been about a week since the last pruning and they have fully grown back uh, really nicely, I think. Um, so on the left here is the Korean pepper and I'll get closer in a second, but it's really nice, low and bushy. On the right is the albino bell pepper and this one also has been pretty receptive to all the pruning. And then the one in the center, the tallest one, is the ornamental Chinese five pepper. It took a lot better to this pruning. First of all, it's grown back a lot and it put a lot more growth on this lower two-third section. And then there's kind of a tall stalk that bifurcates into a V, which is very common with pepper plants. Um, and that obviously, because it's closest to the light, has a lot of new leaf growth. So I think I'm gonna do one more round of pruning. Um, you definitely don't need to. I think it depends on you know, how long you have, what you're growing, if you're gonna transplant it outside or not. But I am gonna do one more round and I'll show you how it looks. Um, a couple of them have started to put out 
little little fruits like the tiny little buds and then in the back my orange hat actually has a couple of tomatoes already um, so it just depends how early you want fruits how um, productive you want your plants to be and how long your season is and yeah um, definitely pruning is I think you don't have to do it but um, I think it gives good results when you're limited to like a small indoor system like this and then the last thing I'm going to do is try to train the Chinese pepper that one plant that's about um, maybe six inches taller than everyone else I'm going to try to train him to grow low by using the air garden uh, trellis system. Uh, this comes with the farm and it's basically a set of wires and magnets. And basically, there's magnets on either end. So you just. Same thing on this side. And they do this in like hydroponic, um, like mass commercial farms for tomato plants because tomato plants can easily get like six seven feet tall um, if you leave them to grow and when they're growing indoors in these commercial hydroponic farms like they don't have the space is huge but it's not endless um, it's not like growing outdoors um, these are like in like greenhouses so what they do is they basically tuck the tomato plant under and they'll, they'll make it like a crisscross diamond grid shape and they'll kind of tuck the leaves under so that way instead of just growing straight up it's kind of like going under sideways and then up and then like sideways and then up so so this is what it looks like here we want to make sure the horizontals are on the same level this one's a little taller so i'm just going to push it down and then basically i'm going to tuck this v and i'm going to kind of push him down like that instead of growing like that I'll grow. I can't spread my fingers that far, but you get you get the gist. Lights on the way. So there we go. You can see him tucked underneath, and there's a good extra two inches under the light now. Before, without the little trellis, he was touching the light. The other thing is all pepper plants are a little different. So this is a different variety. I think this is my Puma pepper. Uh, the label's worn off. It might also be a jigsaw. But you can tell from this one that it's already growing strong leaves at all different points along the stem. Um, so this one would take well to pruning. My Chinese ornamental pepper, on the other hand, did not. So um, with plants that take well to it you can prune just once and you'll get really really great results like I've never pruned this one and it's already you know developed to all those little side shoots um, with other pepper plants that are a little bit more resistant you just have to prune a little bit more often and a little bit heavier um, and they will also eventually kind of fall in line and um, with a bit of training then they will um, do better this one is my puma pepper plant that I pruned quite heavily when it was younger and it's completely bounced back. It's taking over this whole back section. And you can see here, this leaf is where I chopped it off when it was much smaller. You can see the leaf is only half the size. It's kind of cut right in the middle compared to like a leaf that comes to a point like this. This one's half the size. Um, so they do recover quite nicely, especially in a hydro system. Like here in the back again, you can see this leaf was chopped off. Um, it was cut kind of right along the edge. And yeah, this one um, I'm going to print. Oh yeah, here's another one in the back. Cut off halfway. And it's grown all these little leaf sets down here. Um, my bounty is definitely quite full right now, so I'm going to have to transplant some peppers out and move things around and give them some more space, uh, but he's doing really well. So don't be afraid to prune. They can really withstand it, especially when you're keeping them in systems um, like the air garden. That is a little bit about pruning. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and yeah, happy pruning.